Ugh. Same. It's week 11. Week Schmobevin. I think the last two years we've done this two finger thing. Week 11. 11. Yeah, kick it through the episodes. Yeah, kick it. Wait, wait, wait. Ready? Right in the eye. Right in the eye. Yep, got him. Welcome um, back I... to the parking lot. Your college football preview. Yeah, uh, what did we have last week, buddy? We had um, Cal almost beat Washington oh, State. They, <laughs> like all, like almost all of their losses, dude. Like almost all of their losses this year, they've they've been like shoulda, coulda, woulda yeah. games. Where it's just and like, they always go down the same way. It's like, all right, we're gonna throw a bunch of interceptions, and that's gonna be the game. Arguably the most. This was a lot closer though. Arguably the most frustrating way to lose. Yeah. On, and on the road at a top 10 team. Like, that would have been such an amazing win. Yeah. For our for our nationwide... Unfortunately, it's just another, like, close call. Yeah. For our national viewers, um, that was the game with the fumble that wasn't a fumble, then was returned, and then fumbled. Or no, the fumble that was a fumble, and then was returned, and then fumbled. Yeah. That was that game. So I'm glad I could clear that up for you. <laughs> that um, one. Yeah, that one. Um, what else did we have? We had uh, UCF Crush Temple that was Clemson. Close at first. Clemson absolutely embarrassed the hell out of Louisville. Dabo even put that in wasn't, his uh, son. I wasn't for mad. A play. I wasn't mad about. No, he even put his son for yeah, a he touchdown. Did. He did. Yeah. I mean, they were just rubbing their faces in the dirt with that one. 77 yeah. to 16. My God. Whenever Dabo senses that there's any doubt about the playoffs for his team, he's like, okay. We're gonna put sixty points on every team that we can from now on, and he thinks that'll solve the issue for some reason. And uh, Usually, he's not wrong. Yeah, I know he's not wrong. They're, They're probably gonna be right back in the championship game against Bama again this year. Ah, uh, we just had yeah, this discussion, but I disagree. I, I'm getting out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> um. So then we had uh, Ohio State escaped uh, against Nebraska. Close yeah, one. because. Um, uh, Scott Frost beat himself. I can't believe I'm saying that. I thought he was such a great coach. And Frosty. Then he went for it on fourth and inches near his own end zone, and uh, Ohio State yeah. got it on downs and then scored almost they, immediately. There's, there's such a thing as, as too much balls. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, You don't always have to take a chance to beat a, a better team. It's so true. Um, we had uh, Georgia pretty much pretty dominantly winning over Kentucky. Yeah. As we, as I think everybody saw coming. Yeah, I mean, Kentucky, you know, uh, the the, the turn, Kentucky fans. Kentucky probably. turned back into a pumpkin, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, um, WVU killed Texas by one point. Yeah, <laughs> they killed them by one point. Well, they killed their one. killed some of their hopes. For, oh yeah, they killed yeah. their hopes and dreams, which uh, we thank them for. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'll never really root for Texas, so yeah. No, me either. Not I mean, even though Mac Brown's long gone from there, it no. still it still stings. Yeah. Um, we don't need to get into the. Yeah, match. we're not going to get into the details. Michigan on that. showed their uh, their for real by forty two seven by just just Penn smoking State. Penn State in Absolute the big house obliteration. Yeah. Um, Utah laid an egg. Again, yeah, against yeah. Yeah, ASU. Uh, I, I don't. Again, I don't know what to make of this Arizona State team. They're so. Do I, they're dude. so up and down, man. Yeah. I mean, it's like, just when I think, oh, oh, they're done. They're not going to win the South, and now they're like, they're right, right there, one game away from the outside. Mm-hmm. I mean, from the tie. So, because we have three teams tied for the South right now. Yes. And Arizona State is one back from those three. Uh, yes. Yeah. So. So it's anybody's anybody's game, pretty yeah. much. I mean, if if Cal beats, and and what's great for Arizona State is this weekend, in this as you'll see in the coming preview, even though we're not going to preview um, Utah's game. No, we are going to preview Utah's game. Yes. Yeah, we're going to preview both games. So Utah and and USC. USC are both playing somewhat challenging games. Definitely. And Arizona State right now is just like lose, 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 <laughs> lose, and then we go into a four. Well, no. Three-way tie plus Colorado. Well, Colorado's going to lose, too, because they're playing Washington State. Who knows, man? Dude, what if all three lose? Could happen. Could happen. Then suddenly, fucking the fighting Herms are... Vaulted into oh the lead. God. Insane. Anyway, um, yeah, it's magic. To wrap up last week, uh, Miami continued their slide into Heartbreak City. Um, Notre Dame won despite losing their quarterback, and they're going to be out without him this week. 
against and, a smoking uh, hot Florida. No, I'm just kidding. And uh, Alabama is the best at everything, and we're all mor mere mortals. And we're getting arrested. Yep. All right. Um, I guess I'll get at it. I'll get out of the car first, Penol PD. <laughs> Where's he going? I don't know. Penol. He's like, I need a double double now. Yeah, I guess he just kind of left. All right, later, homie. Um, <laughs> uh, and that's pretty much it from last week. Yep, that was it. Uh, fun stuff. Yeah. Um, college football, hooray. So, uh, you know, we still like to pick, talk about these games, despite the fact that uh, Alabama's going to win everything again this year. So, yeah, it's just like that, that's exactly what I feel up here while watching Alabama. Yeah, exactly. Um, all right, first, tomorrow, Friday. November. Possibly the best game of the weekend. Nice. Yes. Go get some Mountain West action for you. Number 23, Fresno State at yeah. the University of Bluefield, Boise State. 7.15 p.m. This is good, man. This is this is the top two teams in the conference. Um, they they faced... they After Fresno State won the... the uh, first matchup last year, they faced each other in the championship game, and they'll probably do the same again this year. Yeah, a very barring, controversial barring some... venue choice last year. Yeah, they played the championship it's game coming back in Boise. Now. It was kind of bullshit. Yeah, even though Fresno State beat Boise. Yeah. So weird, but. Um, so I have to, I have to assume that's going to happen again this year. But uh, look at look at the fighting Tedfords, man. They're they're just he's still got it, man. He's like 102. Still, still just doing it. I mean, I think no, they've only no, he's not. I think they've only lost like three games in his two years there. It's cra it's crazy. Generally, when you're a football coach and you have heart problems, your career is kind of over. Jeff Tedford is um, the uh, what do they call it? Uh, the 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 <laughs> exception that proves the rule. Is that what you're sure. going for? Exception to the rule. I don't know. Anyway. He's, 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 he's a rare one. He's a zombie, is yeah. what we're saying. Yeah. Um, go back and watch the USC Cal highlights from 2003. This very well could be the most fun game of the weekend. It really could be. Um, so, so you know, cross your fingers for Saturday, but make sure to watch this one just in case we don't end up with any quality college football on the 10th. You're not making plans for Friday. <laughs> John's not making plans for I Friday. I mean, I'm leaving work around 6.30, getting to my girlfriend's place probably around 7.00. That gives me 15 minutes to get my wing stop and get back to the television. There you go. So, I plan to be there. There you go. Yep. Emma's going to be really upset. She, last weekend, she was like, I feel like all we did was watch college football. And I'm like, that's because that's... You say that like it's a bad yeah, thing. Yeah, you say it like it's a bad thing. <laughs> like it's not a bad thing. All right, I give that one uh, four stars. I'm going to give that four as well. Um, moving on to Saturday, November 10th. Number 10, Ohio State University at... Number 18, Michigan State University, 9 a.m. So we mentioned Ohio State with the with the tight win last week after they got crushed by Purdue a couple yep. weeks ago. Um, Michigan State's been had a weird year. Um, they they recently lost. They're still ranked 18th somehow. I don't understand it really. I think it's because they won some sort of games early in the season. Maybe I don't know. But they it's even though they logic. were even though they only lost 21 to seven to Michigan, that game was never close. No. So, um, yeah, I don't know. This game, I feel like Michigan State's got a halfway of a shot just because they're at home. But I'm giving it a three and a half. Sure, sounds about right. I'm I'm not a believer this year. Michigan State's played them competitively what last couple years or just last year? I don't um, know. something like that. I was I gonna mean, they, I was gonna look it up, but I forgot to. They gave us the great Papa John's meme. They did. So I mean, that's a legendary yeah, meme. That was several years ago, though. Uh, moving on. Another uh, another underrated good one. Northwestern at number twenty one, Iowa, twelve thirty p.m. And this is uh, this is an important game, man. Like in the in the Big Ten West. Yeah, um, that's why we're covering this one. It's it's going to be a decider. Northwestern against all odds is is leading that division, and uh, it's it would be the would be the opponent of Michigan in the Big Ten championship game if the game if the season were to end today. Pretty amazing. Um, and considering Northwestern 
played Michigan tight earlier this year, that could actually be a decent matchup. Yeah, true. Not that the Big Ten cares because they already <laughs> stacked both divisions so well that <laughs> they barely even need <laughs> a championship with Michigan game. Michigan and Ohio State but, uh, much always wins. I don't know. These teams, uh, I think they're pretty evenly matched, so I think it should be a pretty good one. Yeah, I'd, I'd give this one a four. Yeah, same. Four stars. Yeah. we got to stop agreeing soon. <laughs> Well, we didn't agree that much the last few weeks. So. True, true. Yeah, we got that going for us. Um, next, we have Oregon at Utah, 2.30 um, p.m., both unranked. But, like we were talking, this is a very, very important game for the Pac-12 South. Yeah, Utah. And the North? Nah, Oregon, Oregon's, Oregon's. Oregon's more or less out of it. Okay. It's pretty much the Washington schools right now. Got it. In the North. Um, so the Apple Cup's coming. Yes, definitely. I hope so. I mean, yeah. we'll see. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, Utah, I think, pretty much needs to win out um, in order to in order to have the best shot of getting to the championship game. Yeah. Of, of those three teams that are tied in the South, um, it looks like Utah has the best situation this weekend because they're getting Oregon at home, at least. Though, they haven't been that good at home. Both of these teams have been have had roller coaster years. They've had their really good weeks and their really bad weeks. Yeah. So I really don't know what to expect out of this game, which is why I'm giving it a four. Uh, I'm gonna say three and a half. Oh, you think Oregon's that good? Think yeah, think I think. Well, I think they're. Them? I think they're. They're capable of being that good. Okay. I, I think I'm probably inflating the rating a little bit. Yeah, but it's fair. I'm gonna roll with it. Um. So or a, Utah does have the, a great home field advantage, so maybe that, that well. But like I was saying, it. their home record probably isn't. I mean, it, I don't remember it being. They that have great. the. It's weird. They have the best attendance in the conference. Really? Yeah, I just saw the numbers wow. on Twitter the other day. I'm not really surprised, I guess, because Boulder is not that far from Denver, so you go see the Broncos play. Every other yeah. school's pretty much near a football team, so NFL yeah. team. I mean, anyways. Uh, moving on, we have University of South Florida at Cincinnati. This is at 4 p.m. Yeah, um, and this is a weird one. Um, a lot of people forgot about Cincinnati in the American Conference. I'm always forgetting about Cincinnati. <laughs> as a university and as a city, frankly. Well, they're going to go to a, a bowl game for the first time since they had Jordan Lynch, which is going to be interesting. There you go. Um but, yeah, no, I, I forgot about Cincinnati because in the American Conference, you know, I'm just thinking, oh, it's going to be USF versus UCF in the championship game again. Not so fast. Potentially not. Did they even have a championship game last year, or was it just the final game of the season? I, that's a good question. I, I don't remember. remember. I'm sorry, I don't but, know. But uh, Cincinnati... I don't know uh, the power six. Cincinnati, uh, while while having a good, a good year, uh, is, is favored by 14 in this game, which, which seems, seems ludicrous. Seems like a lot against a, a good USF team. Yeah. Um, I although, the, I mean, I think Cincinnati probably should be favored, yeah. but not by 14. It, oh, seemed, yeah, no. it seems heavy. Um, I think there's just a conspiracy in Vegas. They all hate Charlie Strong. Could be. He probably cost them a lot of money during the Texas years by losing when he probably should have been winning. So I think this I think this is going to be a tight, close game. Yep. Um, I think it'll be fun. And you know what? It's I was telling you, I mean, it's going to be a really good gauge to see um, just how challenging Cincinnati should be for UCF. Yes. Which I believe is the second to last game of the season for UCF. Right before the USF game. That both of those would be great games. Yeah. Yeah. So look forward to that on UCF schedule. That that USF UCF matchup uh, will determine the best team in Florida, college or pro. <laughs> Indeed. Um I'm gonna give that one to excuse me. Um four. I'm gonna give it a four as well. The American is underrated. Um, we move on to 430, number 19, Texas at Austin, at Texas at Austin, at Texas Tech. At it's a, Lubbock. <laughs> it's a three-team, four-team matchup now. Um, so T-Tech has been good. Texas lost last week by one point. Yeah, they... Um... They've they, they've made strides this year for sure under Tom Herman. Um, they've they've had some heartbreaking losses though. They have, and they've come down to play calling, and uh, you have to wonder how that's how that's going to be received by the uh, the ever impatient Texas fan base and backers. Yeah, but just um, get all I think angry Texas is on the right path. They are, and as uh, much as it pains me to say it, yeah. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, neither, it, it's always... I know Will Greer is a big fan of our show, and he watches it a lot. What's up, Will? Um, Will, I'm sorry, but it is kind of sad when you lose to a team led by you. <laughs> Oops! 
<laughs> Got him. Um, Sorry, Willie. Yeah. You're still our boy. Hey, yes. Um, anyways, this should be an absolute shootout, as you know, many games. I think the teenage girls call them bangers. Do they? I think. I think that's a thing. <laughs> Talking to a lot of teenage girls about, about no, football? No, 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 no. This is what I hear. Oh, okay, sure. Through the, sure, the grapevine. Sure, 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 you know, sure. So I think... Uh, this is going to be a this banger. this game's going to be a banger. This is going to be a banger. Yep. As many games with uh, Texas Tech are. Yep. Um, and uh, strap yourself in. Yep. So I am going to give it a yep and another yep. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I'll give this one a... Four! Man, I've got all fours. Yeah, you're going straight fours today, Jesus. man. Jesus. I'm going to give it uh, four and a half bangers. Wow. And mash? <laughs> nah, no mash. Okay. Uh, moving on to our final game of the night. It's another, because uh, the Pac-12 the Pac was like, hey, Cal, we're just going to fuck you in two games straight on the road. So they do. You're going to play Washington State at 745. It's going to be 45 degrees out. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to play USC at 730 the next week. Uh, so it's going to be Cal in Memorial Coliseum. Sorry, in L.A. In, in the, Coliseum. In the L.A. Coliseum. I think it is the L.A. Memorial Coliseum. Yeah, it is the L.A. Yeah. Memorial Coliseum. The Collie. Yep. Um, and uh, Cal, uh, I don't really know what to make this game, except that Cal should win it, but it they'll make it close. I don't know if I can say that about any game Dude, that Cal's played this year. USC sucks so the, if hard. There's I any, mean, okay. Cal hasn't beaten USC since 2003. Yeah. That's They're, 15 years if you're counting at home. All right, all right. Arizona um, so and UCLA I will, are worse teams. While you are right that USC is bad this year, and they are, despite the fact that they might win the South, um, I will only believe a Cal win over USC when I see it. It's crazy. That was the first year I really started following Cal football. It's 2003. Oh, yeah. They have not beaten them since. <laughs> it's pretty sad considering the, co the coach they've had, coaches they've had these last few years. Ogeron, so, but Yeah, but if there's any year that you can beat the Trojans, it's this year. Mm -hmm. I think I also said that last year. And that game was close. Yeah. Oh, wait. Sorry, I forgot to mention Lane Kiffin. I always like to rub that Lane. one in. Lane. Lane. Who has since, since become Elton. one of my favorites over at uh, uh, fucking, what's it called? FIU? F FAU. FAU. Yeah. Excuse me. Boca Raton, baby. He's been, he's been just banging... 50 plus women. If Cal if Cal wins this weekend, I will personally um fuck, I don't know. Uh streak the next Cal game. Wow. No, fuck. Whoa, actually, I no, don't say do that. that. No. Yeah, please. Maybe through the in and out parking lot. Yeah, no, 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 no. Um <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to give We're going to have one, a hard uh, time rushing the field when we when we uh, beat Stanford. I'm going to give this you know one, that uh, wall is pretty high now. True. I'm going to give this one three and a half. I'm going to give this one a 4 cuz I'm all fours tonight. <laughs> I'm all fours. Fours all the way through. Um, yeah, I, I, uh, I think it's going to be close. I hope Cal can win. That would be great. Can the assistant coaches who are, are clearly the ones pushing for for uh, for Miguel Wayne to be out there? Could you guys like use him in situations where he fits? <laughs> And not just put him out there. To I throw. mean, that would be ideal. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, let's let's not put him in situations where he's gonna keep throwing interceptions at decisive points in the game. That's all. We'll pass this video on to them. Yeah. Um. So that's been your college football preview for a week. That. Um. We will see you next time. Um. This has been John and Eamon. live from hell. Yes. Farewell.